I'm Dr. Sonia Anand, a steering committee member of the COMPASS trial. And today in Barcelona, the results of the COMPASS trial were presented. In the overall COMPASS trial of 27,395 patients, three study arms were included. Study arm one included rivaroxaban 2.5 milligrams twice daily plus aspirin. The second arm was rivaroxaban uh, 5 milligrams BID, no aspirin, and the third arm was aspirin alone. And patients were included into COMPASS if they had a prior history of coronary artery disease or peripheral artery disease and were randomized to one of three treatment arms. The primary outcome of the trial was a composite of cardiovascular death, MI, and stroke, known as MACE. And what we observed was a significant 26% relative risk reduction in the MACE outcomes in favor of the rivaroxaban 2.5 milligrams twice daily plus aspirin dose known as the combination versus aspirin alone. And this was highly statistically significant. No significant reduction was observed with a rivaroxaban only arm as compared to aspirin. And when we look at the components of the major adverse cardiovascular events, they are all reduced in patients who receive rivaroxaban and aspirin combination. And in addition, a reduction in the all-cause death rate was observed in support of the rivaroxaban and aspirin group compared to aspirin. The downside of the treatment as expected with all antithrombotic trials is the risk of bleeding. We did observe an increase in major bleeding, which was defined using the modified ISTH criteria. However, there was no significant excess of fatal or non-fatal intracranial hemorrhage or other critical organ bleeding, meaning that two-thirds of the major bleeds were not severe bleeds that led patients to uh, seek medical attention. So overall, when we consider the net clinical benefit of this therapy, considering the primary MACE events with fatal or critical organ bleeding, the net clinical benefit is in favor of using the combination of rivaroxaban and aspirin as compared to aspirin alone.